Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made uh, this boom sound from scratch in Vital. So I'm going to use Vital for this, but you should be able to replicate this in pretty much any synthesizer. So I'm just going to start with the default preset and let's change this to a sine wave. Um, and the first part, or the majority of this, is going to be um, synthesizing a kick drum, pretty much. Or at least um, a very, well, a percussive sound. Not necessarily like a kick drum, but pretty similar. And so if you already know how to synthesize a kick drum, then, uh, yeah, you've you got the most important part down already. So let's just quickly do this. Um, so I know that I want it to be um, a short percussive sound, so I'm gonna um, use uh, the filter and the volume um, both in parallel. So let's just use the standard filter here. And LFO1 and just set this to envelope mode. And then just draw in something that's well, similar to this. And turn this all the way down here. And let's also put LFO1 on the level of this oscillator. So we, it's a bit cleaner that way. And the second thing that we need to do is um, use some sort of pitch modulation. So I'm going to use a different LFO for this. Set this to envelope mode 2 and just drag this to the pitch here and drag this all the way up. And now we can draw in a bit, well, a similar curve to uh, LFO 1, but a bit, well, quite a bit tighter. Depending on how much high frequencies you want at this point, you can use this filter to control it. Let's just keep it that way for now and then go to the FX section. And I like to have uh, this multiband compressor at the end of the chain for this. And then just add a bit of distortion. Not too much. And then I like to add another filter just to control um, the amount of high frequencies that go through again. And let's just use um, a level one again. And then one of the most important steps is to add reverb. Let's just drag this filter down here. We increase time and size a bit. Makes about 50%. And what I like to do sometimes is to um, add another EQ and boost the low end. And just in case you, if you want this sort of more rumbly tail in your boom, then. do this and if you want to change the sound specifically in vital sometimes it's interesting to add this or use the smear mode here to increase um, the high frequencies again and you kind of get a bunch of different variations by using this and again, just control the amount of high end that gets through um, with this filter or this filter. And 
then maybe add a compressor and then EQ after vital. Also add utility and the limiter. And utility is just to make sure that, well, roughly around 200 hertz. I like to um, make sure that everything is in mono. So use the compressor here. Um, I because I want to keep the attack um, or the transient of the boom. Then I'm, that's why I'm using a rather long attack. And push it into the limit zone. And I usually also. Use this EQ to cut more of the high frequencies and also usually clean this up a bit. Yeah, so this is like this. You can get a bunch of different variations uh, by changing the filter settings here and the EQ settings here. Um, and by using the smear mode, if you're using Vital, um, you can also try using Unison, more voices. Um, just make sure that at a certain point um, you're... Um, Collapsing everything to mono. Yeah, that's about it.